Are you ready? Fuck yes. Then begin. If Al Azhar Essa is Iraq, if Al Azhar Essa is Iraq, bring forth the one responsible for my venture in this hell of nothingness, is Afrit. Hmm? Where am I? Ah! Huh? So nice of you to join us, Super Giver 1014! <laughs> Welcome to the Void of the Dam, my boy! You better get well acquainted to it! You're going to be here for a very very long time! I'm sorry, who the fuck are you? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the round guy that's been intruding on your past, what? 20 something everything wrong with videos. Oh, him. See, I thought you were just a triggered Steven Universe fanboy from Tumblr. Easy to get the two mixed up, you know? Your filthy ass mouth ain't gonna help you here, pal. This is the place where everyone's dreams come to die and where no one can hear you scream. No one can hear you scream, cliche. I'm afraid your sinning abilities ain't worth fucking shit here, sweetheart. You don't know who you're fucking talking to. You don't know who you're talking to, cliche. My fucking god, that jo joke's already stale and dirty, you goddamn retard. Speaking of dirt, When's the last time you cleaned this place? It's fucking musky as hell. I even landed next to this literal pile of dust. How the fuck do you even do that? Wait, bitch, put that down. What? What? Ah, what the fuck? Renegade? Supersonic, you fucking hobo bastard! What in the name of hell is going on around here? Shut the fuck up, both of you! I'm sorry, he what now? You made the fucking videos, dumbass! How do you not know that I served up Mr. Shaw Freak over here as a can of whoop ass? And more importantly, how in the name of the Lord's great stream of secretion were you even able to reform, you chocolate stained nutsack? That's racist. I don't give a damn. Fucking explain yourself. <coughs> Yellow flag. You lemon flavored fucktard! You brought this fucking thorn in my side back, didn't you? I don't know! I don't even know what I did, okay? I might have, I might not have. All I know is that my fucking head hurts and that I don't even know why I'm here right now! Oh, for fuck's sake! Fine! You can stick around, sweetie! Just don't get in my fucking way, or I'll pound your asshole so hard that you'll be able to smell it through your nose! Oh god! Fuck both of you! Anyway, let's continue! Shall we? I believe it's about time I scattered your puny little brains all across time and space. Wait a minute, what? Whoa, 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 wait, what the fuck? Who fucking dares? I'm sorry, sir. But the law of plot convenience dictates that you cannot kill Supersonic 1014 quite yet. Hmm? And why the fuck not, you oversized goddamn Galaxy Note 7? Supersonic 1014 must first undergo a trial in order to decide whether or not he is truly guilty of the crimes he is accused of. Wait, you think I'm guilty of a fucking crime? What the hell could I have possibly done that would be even remotely against the law? That isn't a jailable offense though, is it? Shut the fuck up, children! What the hell is stopping me from just blasting that inbred mistake to Ocean Town? The law of plot conv- I'll fucking do what you fucking say if you just shut the fucking fuck up about the fucking law of fucking plot convenience. Goddamn, woman, learn some common human decency. But how can she learn that when she isn't even human? <laughs> fuck off, you low lowlifes. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Suck My Asshole 1014. The prosecution is ready, your honor.
Do I look like I give a deadly fuck? Don't worry, I'm equally as confused myself, Renegade. The gay ass defendant will refrain from talking to his lover in the night, also known as his defense attorney. Now, are you fucking ready or not, you douche bitch? Sexy. Now, if the prosecution would give their opening statement. Thank you, your handsomeness. Ha! Gay! The defendant will refrain from making homosexual jokes in this court void. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna shove a rusty metal rod up your ass and through your nose. Anyway, please proceed. Yes, your roundness. We are gathered here to use this useless YouTuber over here, Supersonic1014, to prove who is truly guilty of the crime at hand. The crime of... Well, that part should be quite obvious. Then why do I still not know yet? The defendant will refrain from interrupting the prosecution. As I was saying, the crime committed against our fellow member of the Globe Society should be fairly obvious. The defendant is charged with the murder of the Great Globe meme. Excuse me? You gotta be shitting me! Do you see your bloody chunks coming out of my non-existent asshole? No, you don't. So let me get this straight. I am being held against my will in some weird-ass interdimensional trial by a mentally challenged psychopath for the murder of a fucking meme. Well, thank you, Captain Fucking Obvious. Now shut the fuck up and let the proceedings continue. <laughs> Objection! If you think the topic of memes is quote-unquote trivial, then you, sir, have obviously never become popular enough to become a beloved meme, so I'd recommend you learn your place before making assumptions. Ah! Thank Christ! I thought this would never fucking end. Now we can finally get to the meat of the matter. Prosecution, call up your first fuck buddy, I mean witness. Yes, your sexiness. I wish to call Katrina to the witnesses stand. Advancement granted. You changed motion to advancement for the sole purpose of it being taken sexually, didn't you? If you don't shut the fuck up, you piss stained recolor, I'll hold your fucking defense attorney in contempt of court. <coughs> Try me, bitch. Dude, is that really just another globe with a wig on it trying to be a girl? Don't be fucking transphobic, you white cis male scum. Fuck, okay, Tumblr. Control your client, gay man. Can we please just get on with this so I can go the hell home? Cute. But regardless, please continue prosecution. Yes, your hardness. Please state your name and occupation for the record, madam. My name is Katrina. I work at the nearest beauty salon back at my home dimension. Sure you do. You say something, dickface? Nah, pretty sure you're just hearing your mother lamenting your existence. Gay man. You are whatever I fucking say you are, you ugly ass haram objection. No offense, your prettiness, but can we please get on with this? I have a globe worshipping ritual to attend to in a few hours. Normally I'd fucking crack open your nuts for that, but because I'm sick of this goddamn conversation anyway. Objection sustained. Thank you, Miss Katrina. Would you please tell the court about your experience with the murder of the globe meme? Yes, sir. <laughs> this ought to be good. It was a normal day like any other, A uh, Normal day like any other cliché. You better fucking nail that mouth shut before I come over there and shove an elephant's testicle down your fucking throat. Can my client please continue? Fuck yes. Anyway, it was about seven-ish months ago. I was on my way home from my job at the salon when I noticed that my cousin, the soon-to-be victim, was mysteriously missing from our town that day. <laughs> 
You motherfucker, your time to pick apart this young lady's story is after the entire testimony is given. Wait your fucking turn, you bitch. Now hold on a second here. You're meaning to tell me you've got not only another one of your kind prosecuting against us, a witness from one of your kind testifying against us, and your fucking abusive racist self, yet you can't even give us something as simple as an advantage regarding testimonies? My god boy, they might as well rename you to Super Obvious 1014. Fuck you. Gay man, control your fucking client. Objection. Your honor, can we just let the defense ask their question now? The faster we diminish their hopes and dreams of ever winning, the faster I get to go get my honorary Obey Glob sticker. Fucking fine. Ask your shit question, gay man. He was indeed. Our big beautiful strong member here always gets up super early in order to find new ways of making our society a fantastic place to live. Oh god, I just realized. There's a whole fucking society of him. Sounds sexy, does it it? No, it sounds goddamn terrifying. Same difference. Witness, continue. It was really strange how he wasn't around, considering how he's always watching over the glow peasants at the mines. Hold it right there! You people have peasants working at mines? Jesus Christ, what the hell are mean societies like? Objection! First of all, you're the defendant. You can't object anything. Secondly, that question is irrelevant to the trial currently at hand. Objection! Bitch, I do whatever the fuck I damn well please. Gay man, I'm seriously about to throw a fucking dagger at your client's left nipple. Control him. Silence, you fucking objection. Your greatness, with all due respect, we really should be wrapping up this testimony. Sigh. Objection sustained. Please finish the fuck up witness. I'm getting tired of this shit. I didn't think too much of his absence however. I knew that sometimes he had to keep to himself in his quarters to get additional work done. So I thought he'd be back by the next day. Little did I know that morning would be the last I'd ever see from him. Fucking finally! That took goddamn centuries! Can I fucking shank the shit out of shit spewer 1014 now? <laughs> Objection! Renegade, you are aware that testimony did give us some new information, right? We now know the date that the murder occurred, around seven months ago. It's more helpful than you think, Renegade. <laughs> You're aware that entire testimony is fucking bullshit, right? What is the meaning of this fucking idiocy? You better have a good explanation for this, you fuck hog, or I'll cut open your fucking ball sack and use it as a makeshift M&M's container. Renegade. When you were fighting this fat-ass globe a ways back... This is my natural shape, you fucking dick! You're one to talk, you homophobic retard! Shut the fuck up! Thank you. Anyway, did you remember the globe saying anything... odd during your fight? How adorable! However, it's time for you to see how thousands of years of pain and regret can make me the god I've deserved to be! Exactly! Let's keep in mind the date Katrina over here gave us, around seven months ago. Now tell me, does seven months sound even remotely close to thousands of years to you? Oh no! Fuck my goddamn ass! Objection! Supersonic, you can't just jump in like that. You're the defendant. <laughs> Objection overruled. No one gives a rat's hairy ass what you think, gay man. You heard the judge. It's time to drop this line of questioning. Objection! Fucking bullshit! We got some extremely contradictory information over here! You can't just throw our points to the wayside like that just because the party who gave it isn't who you expected! Objection! Even if this didn't critically infringe on the rules of the courtroom! 
Let the prosecution finish, you straight out of Compton looking motherfucker. Thank you, your flashiness. Anyway, even if this wasn't against the rules, the time at which the murder happened isn't significant to this case in the slightest. The person who did it is. <laughs> Objection! The way I set up my witnesses has nothing to do with the argument currently at hand. Objection! None of that matters at this point anyway. According to the evidence, you were murdered thousands of fucking years ago, correct? With this in mind, do you really think I was alive thousands of fucking years ago to even attempt a crime like this? Because unless I had some kind of goddamn time machine or some shit like that, that means I couldn't have killed this poor excuse of a judge. You dumbass little bitches. What part of that fucking statement I made back when I whooped gay man's ass ever even hinted at the fact that my suffering from thousands of years ago is even remotely related to the murder of this trial? Exactly, you fucking hobo. For all you know, that statement could be completely unrelated to the trial at hand. And before you even think about using this pointless as fuck argument, I never explicitly stated when I got stuck in this hellhole of a void either. So for all you fuckers know, I could have only been in here for a few months, or I could have very well disappeared to here exactly when my prosecutor's witness said, You fucking bastard. Hey, it's not my fault you two brain dead homo sapiens aren't able to form a decent argument to save your fucking life. Anyway, prosecution, now that these goddamn idiots wasted a few minutes of not only mine and the marathon viewers time, but the plot's time as well, if you would so kindly continue. Thank you, Miss Katrina. You may step off the witness stand. Why, thank you, you gentlemen. Tee hee. <laughs> Fucking fat ass bitch. I'm going to just call you a goddamn hypocrite and then pretend you didn't ever dare to fucking utter that phrase. Why, because you want to make sweet incestuous love to her? That's none of your fucking business, you fucking mustard stain. <laughs> For once, I actually agree with gay man. Let's stop making this marathon nothing but filler jokes, please. But how else am I gonna extend the marathon out to three hours? You are such a little fucking pain in my arse. You know that. At least I don't promote incest to my fucking viewers. Objection. Please, let me call up my next witness. Fine. Objection sustained. Thank you, your painlessness. I would like to call TJ to the stand. Advancement into my dick hole granted. Oh wait no. Fuck. I was talking to Katrina. Your motion is granted to prosecution. I don't even want to know. What. The. Fuck. Witness, please state your name and occupation for the record. Yo 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 woos it's my homeboys it's your boy TJ here, otherwise known as typical jackass. Wouldn't that be TJ A? Shut the fuck up, my main man with a plan is talking. Oh fuck me. My job be to test them local women from Die Hard to see if they bad enough to join the world of Die Sex Ring. You get what I'm saying homie? Renegade, is it normal for me to want to blow my brains out right about now? Hey yo, I sent some little racist dicks over dear son. They ain't cool my boy. No sir, it ain't. You wanna get a cap busted up yo asses, or will you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Objection overruled. Because you're a faggot. Suddenly, I don't want to be here anymore. Hey, yo, you fuckers, it's that time for you to shut yo little bitch asses up cause I'm about to give the lowdown on this here murder, you see. Fucking finally, let's get on with this shit. So, y'all home dogs know how we are. The Supreme Meme Society hooked up type of den brothers. You bet yo ass. Hold it right there! Okay, seriously, can we get some kind of translator for this fucking hood ass? I can't understand a damn thing he's spewing. Stop being fucking racist. You look like a goddamn Democrat. Oh, now you're just creating stereotypes here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 
Since when do you run this fucking courtroom, you fucking brat? I make the judgments, and I say your objection is overruled, you betrayer of your own goddamn race. Oh, this is fucking bullshit. You bet your fucking ass it is. Now please continue with your testimony, Mr. Jackass. Appreciate it, homie. Anyway, it was about two hours since my homegirl Katrina left for her scrub job, and I was left to do my daily chores for the society. You dig? I met up with this dude, Yoana on the bench up here, but something wasn't right with him. He was getting all crackly and shit and sort of fading in and out. It was a fucking sight to see, my boys. <laughs> I don't know nigga, like some fucking bits of juice flying all over the damn place around him, all that shit, you know what I'm saying. What? Oh juice fuck y'all to hell, I answered the damn question, can I move the fuck on? Don't mind the fucking brain dead elephants over here, Mr. Jackass, continue on. Thank you my nigga, so this dude woos you in all this shit, and I was starting to lose sight on him. He starts going on about how some fucking bitch ass race called the humans or summon was the ones who did this to him. After that, he said he was gonna get his vengeance on them bitch asses by getting one of their kind and fucking damn the hell up to come back to us niggas. What? Don't interrupt the fucking witness without telling him to hold the fuck up first. Yo got wax up yo ears nigga, I just said that shit. What the f- why me? You were the first human to come up on my shit list, bitch. You mean to tell me I was the first and not someone like fucking PewDiePie or the creators of those pregnant Elsa X Spider-Man videos? What the fuck is your search history like? Amethyst rule 34? That bitch is fucking sexy. What? Ugh. Fucking figures. Guess and that ends my time here. Yes, you've done your job. Catch you on the side that flips. Holmes, see you, my nigga. We gotta get to everything wrong with Rose's scabbard, you bastard. Or some of the viewers might get impatient. There, are you fucking satisfied now? Can I continue questioning my life choices, please? How? Oh, there is nothing to question, you motherfucker. Your kind put me in this fucking hellhole, and now you're paying for it. <coughs> and that's exactly why I'm in here right now. Huh? Gay men, do you perhaps remember the glob meme? Of fucking course not. Nobody remembers it. I've been scrubbed off of existence that cleanly. Huh? Wait, what do you mean? Listen up, fuckers. It's story time. A long ass time ago, in the age of the internet before your precious YouTube even existed, the internet was just getting its start and had about as many people as a typical Hillary Clinton rally. Political. I don't give a fucking damn. Anyway, only the biggest and fattest basement dwellers existed online, using the internet as a means to escape from real life responsibilities such as taking a few minutes to take a fucking shower. Seriously, these people smelled like ass, but that's beside the point. In this very primitive age of technology, there only existed one meme. The very first meme to exist on the internet, the text-to-speech globe, TTSJ for short. Wait, why a globe? Why not something like, I don't know, a fucking cat? The internet seems obsessed with them nowadays. Who fucking cares? The internet is a random place where anyone with a skin-tight outfit and a chin as long as my firm cock can become famous with enough traction. Anyway, TTSJ existed everywhere around the internet at the time of its inception. You couldn't go more than five fucking websites without running into it. News outlets were scratching their heads and asses trying to work out the damn thing, like usual. The goddamn normies of the world just didn't get the appeal of my beautiful sexiness. I was on top of the world. Until a year later, 
oversaturation began to set in. Everyone that had been using me constantly had all of a sudden got absolutely fucking sick of even a mere mention of me. I was cast to the wayside, and my usage whittled down more and more until it happened. The dawn of new memes such as the keyboard cat, Namanama, that gay faggot named him and singing hey, 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 over and over and over and fucking over again. It was all just plain stupidity, but everyone fucking loved it. Gone was the complicated inside joke of my likeness showing up in a forum or message board. And in came the absolute fucking garbage like this is Patrick and the Rick Roll. Everything that just existed to get a cheap laugh out of unsuspecting dumbasses. The internet gods didn't see fit to keep me around in everyone's memories or in the internet's archives. Why keep something around that everyone fucking despises? They said. So, with a wave of their magical penises, they banished me to this once newly created realm of the damned and wiped any trace of my existence from both all over the internet and from everyone's memories. Now, me and countless other unimportant dead memes have truly become fucking nothing to the entire goddamn world. And now it is my mission to do the same to you fucking jackass humans. By the time I'm done with this bitter, cruel, obesity infested world, you and all of your fucking pathetic kind who betrayed me at the greatest moment of my short-lived life shall be nothing but worthless trash I shall spit upon. It all starts with you, yellow bastard. With your power, I can gain the power to finally escape from this fucking void through the powers of plot bullshit. I will be a god. Well, that's an interesting story. Interesting? Fucking interesting? I fucking tell you the tale of how I pretty much don't fucking exist anymore. And you call it goddamn interesting. That's it. What? Whoa! Wait, no, Daddy, please fuck me. <laughs> Stay out of this, you motherfucker. You think it's funny to make fun of my misery. I think it's about time I fucking nuke your sorry ass all the way to fucking Pluto. Ouch. Oh. So that's how it is, huh? I'm sorry sir, but I must protect Supersonic 1014 until everything wrong with the return ends. The marathon must be kept in balance, lest we all break the law of plot convenience. Fuck you and fuck the law of bullshit convenience. If you're seriously going to defy me, then I guess I'm gonna be forced to make you my bitch. I would not recommend that course of action sir. There is only a 32.89% chance of your victory against my upgraded defense system. I don't give a shit about fucking possibility, or chance, or any of that shit. I just want you out of my way. How's that 32.89% looking now, you lying bitch? Energy stabilizers. Failing. Mission not yet come on complete. Marathon. Must. Um. Ugh, that's it. I'm done with you, you fucking hoe. You'll realize your mistake soon enough, sir. I only did this to protect you from the dangers outside of this void. Eat a fucking dick.
Do you really think I give two shits? That's what I thought. Now, I believe it's about time for the moment that everyone in this stream has been holding their piss for. Pretty sure people are more hyped for everything wrong with the return and jailbreak than for your sorry excuse for comedy. Hey, I'm fucking funnier than you, you fucking cinema sids bootleg. Says who? Fuck you. Huh? No, you fucking ain't, bitch ass. This is our fight. Ugh, fine, whatever, just another fucking dumbass to kill I suppose. Can we just fucking get this over with so that me and Renegade can go home? Oh you, so fucking oblivious to the situation you two find yourself in. Ah well, it's not like you will live long enough to see the consequences anyway. It's about time I fucking end this bullshit. Supersonic, prepare to say goodbye to the fans you hold dear.